Hi, we're going to do a very quick introduction to two concepts, neural networks and backpropagation. And here we'll have a toy example of how a neural network can learn to classify um, features that it sees. By the way, if you have taken machine learning before, this is an optional video. This is just training uh, like a simple perceptron with backpropagation. So the first thing we would need to do would be to define our features. We need some arbitrary set of features. Maybe it's the pixels of a picture. Maybe it's the word vec for a word. Maybe it's some features that you define. For example, let's say we have two objects in the, wor in the world, uh, kittens and puppies. We're going to call them just cat and dog in this set. And we define two toy features to identify them. Do they have whiskers? Yes or no. And are they a good boy? Yes or no. And of course, cats can be good boys. But for this example, let's just use that English collocation for the puppies. When we define our feature system, we need to figure out the values of the features for each of our inputs. For example, the kitten has yes, whispers so it has uh, whiskers equals one and it is not a good boy uh, asterisk of course kittens are good boys but for this example is a good boy equals zero so the feature values for the kitten would be one zero it does have whiskers and it is zero is a good boy how about the puppy it does not have whiskers so it has a zero for that feature and then it has a one for the feature is a good boy. So for the kitten, the features would be one zero and for the puppies, the features would be zero one. We have our input, but then we expect the system to do something so that it transforms one zero into, for example, a one for cat or we expect it to take the features 0, 1 and transform those into a 0 for dog. Let's arbitrarily call cat 1 and dog 0 for this example. So again, we want some sort of uh, algorithm that, that takes 1, 0 as the input and transforms it into a 1. Or that takes 0, 1 as the input and transforms it into a 0. And we have encoded cat as the output 1 and dog as the output 0. So we want something that transforms this input into that output. We're going to use something called a single layer perceptron. A perceptron. The perceptron has the structure that you see on the upper left. It has an input layer. As you can see, the input layer has two neurons. One of them takes the value of has whiskers for each of the feature vectors. And the second neuron takes the value of is a good boy for the feature vectors. So it has an input layer where one neuron takes the value of has whiskers and the other one takes the value of is a good boy. This is the first thing that this structure does. The second thing that it does is that it has weights that connect the neurons to the input layer, uh, the neurons of the input layer to some uh, next layer. Let's call this one an output layer for now. How, how do these weights work? They're going to have some randomly assigned weight. Um, when we start uh, Perceptron, we assign these values randomly. So 0 0.93 for the weight from has whiskers to the output and 0 0.06 for the, uh, for the neuron of is a good boy to the output. And so what value travels from input to output? In the case of cat, we would need the input for has whiskers, which for cat is a one, multiplied by the weight, which is 0 0.93. And that's what transferred here 
for the value of this neuron. In the case of the second one, we need the value of is a good boy multiplied by the weight. And the summation of these two things, it's what comes here. So as you can see, what gets transferred from the input layer to the next step is the value of cat for has whiskers, one, multiplied by the weight for has whiskers to the next layer, 0 0.93, plus the value for the feature is a good boy in the input layer, multiplied by the weight for that neuron from the input layer to the next layer, 0 0.06. Likewise for dog. So because cat has a value of 1 for has whiskers, this is 1 multiplied by the weight from has whiskers to the next layer, 0 0.93, plus the value of is a good boy for a cat, 0, multiplied by the weight of that neuron into the next layer, 0 0.06. So this is 1 multiplied by this, plus 0 multiplied by this, 0 0.93. So 0 0.93 is the value that uh, goes from 1, 0, and then the weights, and arrives here. For dog, we have that has whiskers is 0, and that is a good boy is 1. So 0 multiplied by 0 0.93 plus 1 multiplied by 0 0.06 equals 0 0.06. So we have two inputs, the value for has whiskers and is a good boy, and then this produces a value that is transferred onto the next stage of this network, being multiplied by the weights. In this layer, we're going to take this um, value, which can have decimals, and we're going to perform something called an activation function which can have decimals. But in this toy example, we're going to use a very simple activation function. If the value we get is less than 0 0.5, so less than half of 1, we're just going to round it to 0. If the value we get is more than 0 0.5, we're going to round it to 1. So it's just rounding to the nearest integer. If we get 0 0.9, for example, we're going to round it up to 1. If we get 0 0.06, we're going to round it up to 0. Indeed, this is what we do. Because cat gave us 0 0.93 here, we pass it through the activation function, and this is going to give us an output of 1. And because dog gave us a value of 0 0.06 here, when we pass it through the activation function, is going to give us a value of 0. So what happened? Did this thing work? It did. When we gave the structure, the values for cat, 1 and 0, 1 multiplied by 0 0.93, 0 by this, we got a 0 0.93 at this stage. We passed it through the activation function, so it got rounded up to 1, and that's exactly the output that we wanted cat is equal to 1. So this structure correctly identified uh, that 1, 0 should give you the output 1. Likewise for the dog, the inputs were 0 and 1. And because 1 uh, was multiplied by 0 0.06, we got a value of 0 0.06 here, which we passed through the activation function, got rounded down to 0, and that's exactly the output that we wanted. So this perceptron worked. It transformed 1 and 0 into 1 and 0, 1 to 0 by multiplying by these random weights. This is the absolutely most basic type of neural network that we can have. It worked nicely. But what happens if uh, our randomly generated weights do not work. We will need to correct them. And this uh, procedure is called backpropagation. And we'll study this in the next video.